Hey guys! So it is Sonya Renee again. Crazy cat shit Sonya. Um, and today is my second video vlog, video blog for uh, my ruckus project. Um, radically unapologetic healing challenge. Um, and what I am doing is I'm going to do a blog every day and this blog is going to talk a little bit about um, sort of some of the history behind um, my hair issues and um, the things that I'm doing to get over it and then I'm just going to sort of chronicle it and so today is officially we it is almost one o'clock which means it is six hours away from the shaving ceremony where I'm going to cut off all my hair ah! um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of my hair trauma um, since it's gonna be gone soon and you guys won't see it so point number one I need everybody right now to fucking applaud outlandishly for the fact that I am sitting in front of a camera wigless I've never done this ever in the entirety of my life um, and I'm not tripping out which is so crazy because um, just committing to the action is healing in itself um, so I just want to tell you guys a little quickly about how I got to this place so, um, I've been, uh, I'm a, I'm a, you know, big black girl who has always had short hair. Uh, and that is like the death nail for adolescence. Uh, and when I was young, my mother, who is phenomenally heavy handed, but could do these really intricate braiding styles, would braid my hair and she'd pull it so tight and would just be pulled up like this. And she would um, braid it super tight and what she ultimately did was she damaged the sides of my hair so you can see that I have um, I can't believe I'm doing this balding uh, sides of my hair and they've been that way since third grade um, and I used to get teased unmercifully uh, I'm going to do the chair that they used to do and I can't believe it might make me cry. So they used to call me Sonya, Sonya Boss Bots. <laughs> um, that still really hurts. Like just to even say it out of my face hurts. Uh, and I just grew up ashamed of my hair. I grew up hating it. I grew up trying to figure out how to hide it. And um, at one point it had gotten damaged. I had jerry curls. I had perms. I had uh, just everything you could think of I had done to my hair. Um, trying to make it grow and trying to make it do this and you know if you're a ball headed black girl in fifth grade you're screwed um, and so I got teased a lot and particularly third grade was when the teasing was the most um, intense uh, and this girl named Sonia Twyman uh, used to lead it up one day my aunt punched her in the face that was a little bit of vindication um, but since then it's just been really challenging um and so uh i just decided that i don't want to live with that i mean literally that that moment of being called like sonya bald spots on the school bus from 10 kids has permanently impacted my life and all of the choices that i've made around my hair all the weaves and glue and perms that burned my scalp and jerry curls that created sores in my scalp and the grease pools everywhere I went um, to the thousands of dollars I have spent in wigs to this day um, ultimately at their core are about my hair shame um, and I don't want to be shamed anymore you know like I don't want to be afraid anymore to to just be who I am and believe that that person is beautiful um, even with all my crazy crinkly nappy uh, hair or with no hair at all and so that's what I'm gonna do is go with no hair at all and see how it turns out and so um, this is just sort of an update I want to give you guys a little bit of an entrance into where this came from and why I'm doing it um, yeah I've been held bondage by my hair for 30 years probably a little less than that maybe 27 um, I don't want to I don't want to be that anymore you know and so part of my believing that I am beautiful part of my creating ruckus in my life is to release myself from that and so 
here I am. So in about six hours, um, I'll be bald. And then I will be in the world bald. And I'm excited about what that's going to be for me. Thank you guys for following. Um, check back tonight and you'll get to see the bald Sonya. Um, and there will also be some video and pictures of the shaving ceremony. Um, and go to uh, Facebook.com, The Body Is Not An Apology, and post um, affirmations for me. Things that you want, blessings that you would like to say over my head. Things that I'll be releasing um, when I cut it, and things that I will be inviting um, to my new fresh soil on the top of my head. Um, and then when you start your ruckus project, when you start your ruckus project, uh, we will all do the same thing for you. So here's to creating ruckus. <laughs>